weather. New York is not the only blue state wave in the warning flag. From Illinois, the Democratic governor there, J.B. Pritzker, now calling the situation in his state simply untenable. Garrett Tenney live from the Windy City with more on what's happening there at the airport and throughout the town of Chicago. Garrett, hello. Yeah, Bill, good morning to you. Officials here are telling the White House that Chicago is about to reach a breaking point as they expect to start receiving as many as 1,200 uh, 1200 migrants a day in the weeks ahead. And they are asking the White House to step up and do more to help. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, a close political ally of President Biden, is now publicly calling out the administration for its handling of the border crisis, saying in a letter to the president, unfortunately, the welcome and aid Illinois has been providing to these asylum seekers has not been matched with support by the federal government. Most critically, the federal government's lack of intervention and coordination at the border has created an untenable situation for Illinois. That frustration is even more pronounced in communities across Chicago where the city is opening migrant shelters. Last night, it was standing room only as more than 500 people packed into a community meeting to protest plans to convert a field house in a predominantly black northwest side neighborhood into a shelter. The reality is, it's got to say no, because that's the simple solution is no. Turn the buses around. Mr. Trush, you got about Turn 15 the seconds around. Left. Yeah, we come in a community of black people where we already get the low scraps. And then you want to take the little scraps, the resources that we have, and put us at the bottom of the barrel? That's not fair, and I won't have it. I want Mayor Brandon Johnson to understand that you're selling us out for people who can't vote for you. It's not just the shelters that have not opened that are facing protests. One alderman is calling for a shelter at a hotel in his ward downtown to be closed after more than 300 police calls for that address alone this year already. For everything from simple disturbances, for fighting, assault and battery, to drug trafficking. Bill? Wow. All right, Garrett, you got your hands full. So welcome to the party. Thank you. Live in Chicago, Garrett Tenney. Martha. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.